All right, welcome to another video on Home Lab. This video is on Snort IDS, and this video will consist of two parts. First, we will talk about uh, what is a Snort IDS, what are its capabilities, some use cases, practical use cases. And in the second part, we will go and, and set up the Snort IDS on our server. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so now let's quickly understand what is not, okay? So we will cover four topics in this section of the video. Why snot, capabilities of snot, practical use cases of snot, and a home lab setup. What are the requirements, okay? Why snot? Snot is first reason and very important reason is it's completely open source. It's an open source idea solution. Um, that also also it also has the ips capability as well that means it can monitor suspicious anomalous uh, behavior in the network it was developed by sourcefire but then it was then it was then acquired by cisco so it has two model it has a, a comer, uh, open source model and it also have a uh, paid model as well Cisco in its firepower uh, firewalls basically called FTD uh, they use the uh, snot IPS the commercial version of a snot into the into their firewall okay but we can also use this snot for free okay and that's what we are going to use why snot snot is really needed because uh, it can help you to detect any suspicious activity on the network layer on the network level okay any type of DDoS attack, uh, web-based attack, suspicious network activity on protocol level, SMB level, wireless, uh, Wi-Fi level as well. Second, it gives you the visibility of the network, what all happening. Uh, you know, uh, you get the complete visibility of uh, what all different activity happening in the network. If there is any anomalous behavior, you get an alert. Okay, let's talk about different capabilities of Snot. So first is it perform the real time uh, real time traffic monitoring. Uh, you know it can be used to monitor the traffic that goes in and out, back and forth in the network. It will monitor the traffic in real time and issue you an alert as well when it discover any uh, anomalous behavior in the network. Second is the packet logging. It uh, log all the packets. Uh, it has a packet logger mode as well, which means that it will logs the packet to the disk and uh, in this mode snot will collect uh, every packet and logs it into the hierarchical format okay second is the os uh, fingerprinting this way you use this to a uh, platform to understand different tcp ip stack what all kind of communication happening from the operating system level on the network level okay then protocol supports there are quite a lot of protocol that has been supported tcp udp http smtp ftp dns perfect now let's talk about the deployment mode you can deploy it uh, as i said first you can deploy it in the ids and ips just to give you a quick differentiation ids is will help you to a snort will only detect the threats or maybe detect any anomalous behavior or suspicious activity and give you the alert okay now it's up to you as a SOC analyst or security and engineer to take the action on it but if you deploy it in the IPS mode then it will prevent the attack from executing further so it will also take an action incident response as well usually organization deploy in the IDS, IDS uh, uh, mode if they uh, if they have very sensitive and critical application going on because if you deploy in the ips some of it might impact the business as well right some critical application might get uh, disrupted as well so it is deploy in the ips mode only when you are sure that you know whatever the traffic whatever the rules that you have created it's 100 percent accurate with 100 percent confidence okay so first deployment mode is packet sniffing uh, this mode means that software, the uh, snort software will read the IP packet and then display uh, it to the user on its console. Okay. Then we have packet logger as we discussed earlier. This will, uh, snort will log all the IP packet in the network uh, that visit to the network and goes back and forth. Okay. 
Next, we have the uh, network IDS, network intrusion prevention system. You can deploy it in either in the IDS or IPS mode, okay, as I just talked about it, okay. So these are the three modes. Next, practical use cases. Of course, you can, the most practical use cases to be deployed uh, to debug the network traffic, create custom rules to detect any anomalous behavior. Uh, Snot also give you the community rules. Uh, if you remember, if you if you watch my Surikata uh, home lab, so in that case we had uh, emerging threat, which releases the which releases the free Surikata rules. Similarly, it's not also shared the rules, but you can also create custom rules as well. So this is very good if you want to be very specific about certain kind of malicious traffic in the network. Uh, most of the time, I mean, you can also perform the network debug, uh, you know, you can analyze, uh, perform threat hunting in the network, analyze network traffic, perform packet sniffing in the network and generate the rules accordingly. Now let's talk about the home lab. Uh, to set up your home lab, you need Ubuntu Server 2020.04. Okay, so this is all you needed for uh, getting started with the home lab. Now. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so we got our uh, Ubuntu 2020.04 server ready, okay? You can also, uh, you can either use the cloud server instance from AWS to Walter to DigitalOcean, or maybe you can use your virtual machine on VMware or uh, maybe VirtualBox as well, okay? So first thing that is very, very important is to update the package. So let's update the packages that's the first thing that you should do and once it's been updated then we can install snot so it's done now let's install snot we already have root privileges so we can quickly do apt install snot hit enter yes perfect now uh, I need to have the uh, my IP address. My server IP address is okay. Yeah. So the first thing that it asks you is the address range of local network. In case you want to monitor all the subnets of your network, you can use the you can specify the entire network. In case you are using the virtual machine, you can specify the range. Maybe one eighty to one sixty eight. 1.0 slash 24 uh, because I'll be monitored because my server is in the cloud so I'll only monitor my own the network connections to my own IP address and then that's the reason I'll use slash 32 okay let's hit enter yes done perfect okay so looks like it's done once it's complete we have to verify okay so snot minus v okay then uh, looks like we have perfect give me one second uh will be we can use the manual board manual option or we can uh manual as well or we can use the version command as well okay you can see this is the latest this is the latest not ids okay and uh, this shows the ids is working okay so the configuration of snot is usually present in the hc uh, so you can go to slash etc snot under this you will find the configuration file yes this is the one snot dot conf let me maximize the screen snot.conf okay once you do i mean it's not currently needed because we have already made the changes in the beginning but i'll show you uh if i do the nano you can see these are different categories of changes the most important thing to modify is the home net okay so your home net uh, is actually your uh, own ip address in case you have you you have given uh, your local network as slash 24 so home net home net sorry home net will be considered as the slash 24 ip address okay 
similarly there are other information as well you can uh, there are different categories of information uh, some more information related to rules security rules as well so if you go on the bottom you will find this this is the uh, specific rules that you create uh, that will you create the custom rules okay these are some of the rules which are already present and uh, yeah so these are all the categories and the changes if you want to modify any such information you can come here and you can modify changes related to the system changes related to the external IP address or maybe the internal as well so in, in our case because we we don't know uh, who will be the our internal or external IP address we can modify it you can also come in the uh, you know home net and you can also specify your own IP address let's say you want to specify the network so in my case it's 103.189.88.171 so I can be very specific about my own network as well okay let's come out and um, let me show you the logs directory so in order to check the logs uh, the logs will be present in the cd slash where log snot okay sorry snot uh, in the snot you can see snot alert alert fast and alert dot log okay so if you want to see the real time alert you can do minus f a uh, tail minus f snot alert dot fast okay perfect can you see the attempts some some bad traffics are coming in real time okay you can also launch uh, you know uh, you can also launch and map scan for reconnaissance to see the traffic as well on your right I have my nmap okay so what i can do is i can run uh nmap scan against my uh, uh snot ids so this is 103.189.188.171 you can see some traffic coming in perfect so this is based on my external IP addresses so I can verify that right perfect so this is how you can set up your own home lab your own snot IDS home lab uh, in your network uh, the best part about this is the while installing this snot IDS the uh, rules some of the rules are comes along with it so you don't have to manually install snot IDS rules but you can again create a custom rules I've shown you in the directly but, but, but remember one thing by default the rules are present in the uh, etc snot and under this you may find something called rules okay perfect here it is so you can go to rules and these rules are already being created can you see this attack responses for IPS you can create a rules uh, if you want to have IPS capability if something happens so you can create a rule to block certain traffic or uh, drop certain packets so these are all IDS based rule for community based rule if you remember I told you uh, I, I snot works on both community and paid commercial model as well so these are all pre-built you can also download some rules from some other uh, platform and you know use it yourself or maybe you can create a rule custom rule yourself you can see the local dot rule you can add certain rules in it and test yourself okay so i hope this was useful for you if you have any question do let me know in the comment section bye for now